Regio Antibrachi Anterior. In the proximal part of this region, there are two elevations, medial and lateral. These antibrachial elevations are continuations of elevations of the cubital region. The skin in the region is thin, sensitive and mobile. The superficial fascia is relatively thin, poor in fat and fibrous components and loosely attached to the underlying fascia. The subcutaneous veins here are vena basilica and vena cephalica which enter the anterior antibrachial region from the posterior antibrachial compartments in the middle of the forearm. The muscles of the anterior antibrachial region are arranged in four layers. The first layer includes from the radial to ulnar direction, musculus brachioradialis, musculus pronator teres, musculus flexor carpi radialis, musculus palmaris longus, which is missing here and musculus flexor carpi ulnaris. The second layer contains only the muscle flexor digitorum superficialis. The third muscle layer is formed by muscular muscles flexor pollicis longus and muscle flexor digitorum profundus. The fourth layer is composed of musculus pronator quadratus. In the distal part of the region, there is a well-defined space of pirugo parona. It is limited anteriorly by musculus digitorum profundus and posteriorly by musculus pronator quadratus and membrana interossea antibrachii. In the anterior antibrachial region, there are four nerve vascular bundles. Radial, ulnar, as well as superficial and deep median bundles. The radial nerve vascular bundle includes arteria radialis, vena radialis, and superficial branches of nervous radialis. Along the upper third of the forearm, the nerve gradually approaches the artery and courses on its radial side in the mid shaft region. In the distal third of the antibrachium, the nerve diverges from the artery, passing deep to the tendon of musculus brachioradialis before piercing the fascia and emerging subcutaneously on the posterior antibrachial region. Arteria radialis runs along the line beginning at the midpoint of cubital fold and reaching its pulse point on the distal radius. In the upper half of the forearm, artery radialis is covered by medial border of musculus brachioradialis. Distally, it runs between the brachioradialis tendon and the tendon of musculus flexor carpi radialis in the radial sulcus, covered only by the fascia, the ulnar nerve vascular bundle is composed of al al ulnaris artery, ulnar veins and nervous ulnaris. Along its entire course, it lies on the medial part of the musculus flexor digitorum profundus. At its most distal portion, the ulnar nerve vascular bundle courses along musculus pronator quadratus. In the upper third of the forearm, arteria ulnaris passes behind musculus pronator teres and the origin of musculus flexor digitorum superficialis. Along the middle and distal thirds of the forearm, the artery is joined by the nerve ulnaris, which runs on its medial side. There are two median nerve vascular bundles, superficial and deep. The superficial nerve vascular bundle 
is composed of median nerve and artery committens nervi mediani. In the upper forearm, the nerve passes between the two heads of musculus pronator teres, crossing superficial to radial ulnar artery. Distally nervus medianus passes between musculus flexor digitorum superficialis and profundus. In the distal third of the forearm, it lies in the median groove. Between the tendons of musculus flexor carpi radialis and the tendon of musculus palmaris longus laterally. Medially, the tendon of musculus flexor digitorum superficialis. The deep median nerve vascular bundle is comprised of interosseous artery and concomitant veins and nerve interosseous anterior. It is situated between musculus flexor digitorum profundus and musculus flexor pollicis longus, anterior to membrana interossea. Distally, it courses deep to the musculus pronator quadratus, which where the artery perforates membrana interossea and appears in the posterior antibrachial region.